Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's March week four and so time to work in my scrap journal again for the usual scraps prompt. Um, just a reminder, this is what I've got so far and I just absolutely love the way that um, it's looking. I hope um, I'm in frame and you can see um, all of this. Um, those were the pages I did um, last week. Um, but this week, what I want to do is, I think, use some of these to create a border for the black and white page. Um, these are flowers that I received for the embellishment challenge a couple of years ago. I've used several of these. I received a lot of them. Um, but I've got some of these, and I just thought it would be really nice to incorporate these um, as some kind of a border, um, perhaps. I don't know, maybe something, something like this. But I think what I'm going to do is sew some of those as a say or glue some on as a border to this page here so I'm just going to fiddle around with them and try and um, work out my composition I don't know whether to chop them in half um, do I want the green ones or, or do I just want the orange and the purple do you know I'm thinking I might just want the orange and the purple and I think I'm going to chop them in half yeah that's what I'm going to do let's go for it don't think about it too much Nina just do it so oh I hope I'm doing the right thing here but I'm just trying to use up you know I've, I've still got so many bits and pieces left from the embellishment um, challenge because I received I think it was 34 odd parcels from you wonderful wonderful um, ladies um, so you know it just takes an awful lot of time to use everything up and you know this is a great way to do it I don't want to sort of over overthink this and have um, sort of you know pink orange pink orange pink orange do you know what I'm going to do I am going to scatter them um, in the air like like this um, and then I'm just going to pick them up um, and I'll place them in whatever order um, I've got them in there we go I think that's the thing to do because otherwise I'll just spend hours have I missed one has one gone missing somewhere otherwise I'm just going to spend um, too long sort of trying to um, think about where I want to glue it I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac um, just because it is here and then I might even sew it so I'm going to start off um, not close to the edge because that's where I want my sewing to go. Um, I've got my sewing machine set up already because um, I just want to try and use my sewing machine now that I've got into the um, swing of it. Right, let me just put these here. Um, they're going like like that. Oh, now, now I'm going to end up with orange, orange, pink, pink, pink. Or so. Just do it in the order that they came in. Don't think about it, Nina. Um, yeah, because if I don't, um, I'm going to forget how to use it again and I'm slowly starting to get the hang of it, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, Alex is due home as well um, next weekend and he has just got the most amazing embroidery machine upstairs because, of course, Alex has won several um, quilting competitions. I've told some of you this before. Um, and he sort of often says to me, Mum, just go and practice on my um, sewing machine upstairs, but I'm absolutely petrified that I'm going to ruin it, so I just won't won't do that um, but when he's home um, now that I feel a bit more accomplished um, then you know maybe we'll give it a try who knows so I'm just gluing these on like like this that's better isn't it and then I think I've just got room for one more and then I'm just going to add a row of stitching I think so that's what I've got. I've ended up swapping these two around. So I've ended up with pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange after all, but it just didn't look right. So I've taken this out and I'm just going to run a line of sewing, I think, just along the edge here. Well, my goodness me, I'm definitely getting better at the sewing machine because I managed to change over to white thread, sew it in a reasonably straight line as well. Look at that. All in the space of about five minutes flat. So, you know, progress, absolute progress. How much fun is that? Oh, that means everything to me. I know that a lot of you said, Nina, just practice. You will get there. It is just practice. But it seemed like such a major, hur a major hurdle at the time. It really did. So I love 
how that looks. Um, I wish in a way that I hadn't glued it here because I could have used that as a tuck spot but you know I didn't and Fabri-Tac um, glues permanently as you know so that's that. Um, I don't know what I am going to add to that page. Um, I don't want to add any more of these because I think it will be um, just overkill and, and too much but I've still got these green ones as well which I can use for a project at um, a later date. So I need to have a think about what I want to do next. Do you know, I just love how that works together. I think those colours just work absolutely beautifully and I just love that black and white pop as well. So I think what I want to do now, um, I want to do something from the mood board. I know that I've said that um, this Use Your Scraps week is not prompt related um, and it isn't. If you don't want to do anything prompt related then that's absolutely fine. Um, but I just feel that it's just nice to incorporate something each week um, if I can. Um, and so I think I'm going to work on this purple paper bag which um, I've got included here so I'm just going to pop that um, to the side for a moment. Now I've got um, this that I was working on um, last week. Um, what else have I got? I've also got the um, mop-up paper towel as well um, and I'm thinking that maybe I can incorporate this somehow. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do it. Maybe I can use this um, as some kind of a frame and maybe I can glue glue that on. Um, let me just have a, a think. I think I'm just going to cut this, um, trim it around the edges and just see what it um, looks like. I'm going to start off by doing that. Well I've trimmed my frame so that's what that looks like and I've decided I'm not going to use um, this tissue paper in this project. I just think it will be too much. I thought about cutting um, the central section out and gluing that behind it and maybe doing some lavender but I've changed my mind. What I am going to do um, is glue that on and I'm going to have some kind of abstract flower. So let me just glue this down first. Again, we use the fabric type just be, oh, oh gosh, I really like that on. No, don't, just um, don't overthink it, Nina. Um, what was I doing on the other the other side? I do recycle all of the papers that you see me use um, for scraps in backgrounds. I use them over and over and over again. So they just build up lots and lots and lots of um, layers of beautiful paint. Um, so let's have that on like that. I want my flower, something like that too. Um, I'm trying not to do a voiceover today as well, so you'll have to let me know sort of what you think. I know that I can't please um, everybody. When I do a voiceover, um, it takes a lot of time to edit, but of course, you know, when I do a video like this, they're much longer, and I know that some of you um, prefer um, shorter videos, so let me know your thoughts there. Let me just give this a dry. Now I want to um, draw on a stem. So I've got some of my Nouveau drops. These are the um, Nouveau crystal drops, which are dimensional um, and what I'm going to do is just do a stem in fact we'll do just a little sort of cuppy type thing there like that and then I'm just going to whoops and they do sort of splatter a bit but I want it to be dimensional and I'm going to go outside the frame as well now I'm going to have to let that dry um, and that will take quite quite a while because it's dimensional paint but that's what we've got so far. Then to create my leaves um, what I've decided to do um, is use one of these and cut it up um, to create some some leaves. So I just need to decide which one um, I want to I want to use. I think I'm going to um, stick with the cardstock so that the um, dimension is the same and I think I'm going to use this one here. So I'm just going to freehand cut these. Let me just grab um, some scissors. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Don't mess it up Nina. We are. So that will be able to go on there something like that and do I want one or do I want um, two? I think I want um, two so I'm just going to do another one from the side of it just, just here. 
and I just like the fact as well that I have got repeat elements going on through this journal so far um, that is just really pleasing to me so my leaves will go on there once this is dry something something like like that am I in frame so I'm going to glue these down I've cut this leaf um, just because I didn't like the shape of it so let's just glue glue this down we'll have one there and let's stick that one there like that that's fine um, and then I think I just want to have some dimensional dots just at the top of the flower let's just make sure oh hang on just bring back with dimensional glue you just need to squeeze it out first just to make sure that it's coming out um, properly I think Just going to have some dots on there like like this just to give it that whimsical touch I like how that looks and I can't resist I'm going to add some to the leaves as well That to me is adorable. I just absolutely love that. And I'm just going to finish it off by adding some scribbly lines just to make it look a bit more doodly. I'm going to have to be careful that I don't ruin any of these gorgeous dimensional dots. And then I'm just going to have to set that aside to dry. I just love that. Now whilst that side's drying, um, I want to do something with this maybe on the reverse because of course it will go into my journal, something like that. So I've got to be really, really careful now and make sure that I, I don't touch this side and that I allow that to dry. Um, but I want to concentrate on this part here. So I'm going to get um, a wet paintbrush and just cut out this part here. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush just to tear around this edge here. Have I got enough water on there? And it should make it easier for me to tear. I'm going to do the top and the side as well because I don't want any hard straight edges. I hope this works and you know if if it doesn't work then I can cover it up with something else can't I so you know nothing ventured as they say nothing nothing gained so there we go and I'll just tear around this edge here just to soften the edges so that it's not straight that's all I'm trying to achieve with with this and then I think I'm going to use some Mod Podge to glue it down now of course um, napkins are three ply as is um, kitchen towel so in fact I think this is two ply perhaps so I just need to take um, that apart um, it should come apart okay without gluing let's have a look be careful um, and I just think I want to stick that down on there, something like like that. So I'm just, I think I'm just going to glue that down with um, some Mod Podge. I've already tried to wreck it. I dropped my paintbrush and it's rolled over. And can you see, um, I flattened some of my little dots, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just one of those things. I'm very typically me, clumsy old me. Um, so I'm just going to add some watered down Mod Podge and glue this napkin, this piece of napkin down like like this. That should be that should be enough. Um, which way round does it go? That way up, I think. In fact, I think I want it a bit higher up. I'm going to try and get it symmetrical with this this one here. Um, do you know I think I might go and get some um, cling film so I'm just going to use some kitchen wrap just to press it down and this will just stop me tearing the napkin um, under underneath it just allows me to press it down and just make sure that it's um, attached and then you've just got to peel it off really really carefully 
So let's press that down and peel it back. And again, I've just got to let that dry. So that's dry now um, and I just want to use some of this um, Dina Wakely Media Acrylic in Olive um, which I've just put out onto a piece of deli paper and I'm just going to, I want to make some lavenders so I'm just going to do some stalks like so In fact, I think I'll start off with three um, for the time time being. Shall I? No, I think I'm going to go for five. Three just doesn't seem to look um, enough. Let's have another one here. I, I want it to be quite random. Um, so I'm just going to give this a quick dry. Okay, so uh, my stems are dry and I want to use some Nouveau Drops again just to replicate the dimension I've got on the other side just to tie it um, all together. So I'm going to start off by using some of this deeper um, lavender colour here. What's this called? This is called Grape. Where shall I start? Let's start off over, over here. I've got a picture of some um, lavender on my iPad. Let's have a look. Oh, just go for it, Nina. Just wing it. And I'm just going to sort of come down like like this, trying to be a bit random about it. Oh, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Um, let's do the others as well. And of course this is dimensional um, paint here so it's going to take a bit of time to dry but you know that's okay because this side is too. And it looks as if my tissue paper isn't quite um, glued down properly just in this centre part here but you know I'm okay with that, that's fine. Maybe I can go over with some Mod Podge once this is all dry. I might not need to, you know. This is a scrap journal, a junk journal at the end of the day. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I really like how that looks. Oh, yep. Um, now, I did want to add um, a second colour as well. And I'm using just a, a scratch piece of paper here um, just to... Um, because sometimes you get air bubbles in the in the nozzle and I don't want it to splatter everywhere so I think I'm just going to sort of try and add just maybe a few highlights in this lighter lavender here yep I like I like that not too much here we go And then I'm just going to have to set that aside and, and just let that dry. How cute is that? So that's tied in um, the mood board from this, this week. Now I also want to do something with this page here. So that's the other side to this one. So I'm just going to take, take that out. Um, yeah, I definitely want to work on, on that side. So let's put that to one side for a second. Um, now, do I want to tone this down a little bit? I'm not sure. Um, but what I want to do, I've got a bag of flower bits and pieces that um, I've had in my stash for absolutely ages. Um, in fact, let's tip all of these out. Um, and I just want to cr try and create some kind of... Um, bouquet, um, vase of flowers, something like that, just using up some of these scraps that I've had hanging around for a very, very long time. I think this was going back to mixed media morsels days. That's um, how long ago I made made these. So let's just play around with these and see see what we can come up with. I think um, I might need to do something with the background. I think those are getting a little bit um, lost, but um, but let's have a play first. I've got quite a few of, of these. I think that's going to be um, enough and I want some kind of vase for these to go in. Let me have a think about what I can do with the background. I think I'm going to add some white gesso to, oops a daisy, to start with. Oh gosh, here we go, I'm making a right mess already. Um, and I'm just going to dab it on. 
because I don't want to lose all of this gorgeous colour. I just want to tone it down um, a little bit, just you know, so that my flowers stand out more. So that's dry, and I just want to add a little bit of stamping um, in the background as well. Not too much, just a just a bit. And I'm going for a light grey here as well because I don't want it to be too um, heavy. Um, see, I really like the way that looks. And then I'm just going to um, apply some washi tape around the outside as well, exactly the same as I did before, but I'm going to need a bit of extra glue, I think, to help it stick because this washi is really old. And you can see I'm just using a glue stick just to add a bit more tackiness. I've cut it to the right size um, already. Um, let's stick that down. Move my greaseproof paper out of the way there we go and fold that over on the other on the other side there we go and I'm going to do that all the way um, around okay so I've got my washi on um, front and back I also did um, the top of the pocket here as well so that I've got that ready for when I do the other side um, and I've got a scrap piece of um, paper as well from my scrap drawer and I've drawn um, sort of like a vase shape and I'm just going to cut this out um, I'm not very good at drawing and you know I like things symmetrical as well otherwise it just really bugs me so you've seen me do this kind of thing um, with vases before um, I just find it easier to just fold a piece of paper over um, and just draw half of it and um, and then you know you open it out and you've got something nice and symmetrical so that is my vase um, I'm quite happy with that so is it big enough is it big enough do you know I'm not sure that I've, I've cut it big enough hmm well I've extended my vase I added a piece of um, gold washi tape to the top um, so that's much much better um, and I just want to ink around the edges I am just going to use some purple um, distress ink to do to do that um, oh come here so we'll do do this just to frame it and then I just want to arrange my flowers. I think I'm going to ink around the flowers um, as well. So I've inked around the edges that looks much much better and I also brought in a bit of the purple into the centre of the vase so I'm just going to glue this down. I've marked the centre of my page as well just because it's very deceiving when you've got um, a page open like this and very difficult to work out where the middle of it actually is so you can see I've made a mark here and another one at the, the top just so that I can line it up there we go stick that down that will do nicely and then I just need to fiddle around now and you can see that I've inked around the flowers and that's just made those stand out much better as well I love that and also has brought this green one that I want to use for balance um, into it as well without it looking as if it's out of place that one's got some green in it as well so I just want to fiddle around with these until I'm happy um, with the positioning and then I'm going to glue these down as well I think they need to go a bit higher higher up well I continue to stick my flowers down and this page and the other two have been drying overnight I don't know what you can see here um, but I decided to add some of the Nouveau drops to the top of the jar as well um, so those have set nice and firmly and I've also added some shading around the vase with um, a Stabilo all but I just love that page and um, you can see I've added some stems as well and I just think that looks so pretty um, so here's the other two um, these are all set nice and hard and I absolutely love um, this was where I dropped my paintbrush and it popped um, the circles and they've got little holes in and I just love that there's two up here that the same has happened to as well and the stem has cracked um, and again I really like um, that effect here's my lavender um, it dried sort of black in a couple of places I think where the glue has obviously um, stuck the tissue paper more firmly down in some areas you can see here that um, it hasn't stuck correctly um, but I quite like that and I just went over the areas that I didn't like by just you know rubbing some white paint around with my finger so I just want to assemble these back into the journal 
Now I'm just reassembling my journal so I popped that page back in but this one here I want to move and I think I want to have it here because I just love um, the way that this looks opposite that page there so I'm going to put my paper bag um, in there like that um, instead. So let's continue to flip um, through it. I've got ideas um, that I want to do in a, few, in a future video for that. I love my lavender, that is just really pretty. Um, and then of course my flowers. Now I really don't like the way that the flowers look um, against that here. It's just two, um, two pages that are too busy next to each other. So I've got um, a piece of mixed media paper um, that I've had for something else and I'm going to slot that in there like that instead and the good thing is about um, using elastics for these pages is that you can swap them over move them around add pieces in take pieces away if you really really don't like them um, so that looks much more pleasing to my eye I think I've got um, an idea for this page here can you see it um, and I think I'll do that later on in the year because those are more Christmassy type colours for me so I might do that at the back end of the um, year um, but I just love the way um, that this is coming together now I've dug out a few other bits and pieces because um, I've got some things that I want to add to this paper bag here um, and maybe this page and these are some of my um, previous pieces of artwork I love both of these um, so again this was one that I did on um, a blind sample tag I've backed it with craft cardstock just to stiffen it because it was very flimsy and I think I'm going to attach that there but I want some kind of uh, border around the page and I've also got this bird as well um, that I did I think this was May um, last year I love this so much and I did this with distress oxides in the background um, the bird and the branch were a stencil I think it was a folk art stencil um, and the bird I coloured in with oil pastels but I'll leave the links to these videos in the description box below so I shall call, call this one here um, bird on branch um, and this one here tulips um, just so that if you want to go and check out and remind yourself of these videos you you can do so I just need to find somewhere um, to put put that one and I think I might I might have it there um, let's have a look or even no I think I'm going to put it there actually so I'm just going to glue those down and again I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac I think for this in fact I won't I'm going to use my red score tape um, just because it's stronger. Now I've decided that I want some kind of background for that one to go on again I've added um, the red score tape so I've got this which is just um, a grid that I got from um, the pan shop it's um one of those splatter baking guards so I'm just going to line it up the way I want it and then I've got some of my um, white dilutions spray which I've given a good good shake and let me just have a look I just want this I'm just going to make sure I get it in the position I want it which is something like that that will that will do and I'm just going to hold it down and spray and I'm working on a piece of mixed media paper here because of course these sprays make a bit of a mess yeah that's perfect so I just need to um, give that a quick zap with my heat tool so I've given that a quick dry and I've still got some paint on um, on the grid as well so I'm just going to turn this over and I'm just going to plonk that down and see if I get um, any transfer I might just get a bit oh that's cool I like that now it's funny isn't it you do something sometimes and you think oh goodness me why did I do that that just looked too busy to me so I had the bright idea of using a Posca paint pen to colour in um, the line of squares and I still don't like it so what I am going to do now I'm just going to put a piece of paper inside it I am going to leave um, a line all the way around and colour the rest in with sharpie marker so I'm just using my sharpie marker um, like this can you can you see am I in frame um, and it might work it might not but um, you know that's just the way it goes sometimes now that's better um, but I still I'm not quite pleased with it so I think what I'm going to do is add some polka dots around the edge like like this and I really like that already that's just completely lifted it 
Now I'm not going to lie, this um, took a while before I got it um, to a stage where I was happy with it and I did end up adding some black gesso as a border and that's just really made it stand out. I'm really happy with that now um, and I don't know what everybody else thinks but that's got um, a really art deco feel about it to me. So I've added the quote, creativity takes courage um, and of course one thing leads to another as well because I added black gesso here, some of it bled onto the reverse side so that's created um, a really nice border to my heart page here. I had some um, leftover gesso so I ended up adding some splatters which I really like and um, some white splatters and that, I think that's really toned down um, that page there as well. I really like that um, and you can see that I've had a bit of a move around of my pages as well. So I've decided to put this um, page here um, opposite my vase of flowers. I just love this. Isn't that pretty? Well, I think it is anyway. I just love the dimension of the Nouveau drops. Um, so, of course, I'm going backwards now. Um, here's my lavender. I just love that on the reverse side of the paper bag. I love the crinkly texture of that. So, of course, I've got a pocket here that I can fill um, with goodies. Um, I love this bird. Um, and as I've said before, I'll leave the link to this video in the description box below for anybody who wants to see how I created that. That's one of my favourite projects. I just love that um, and I love how that looks against the black and white as well um, nothing done on these pages as yet but um, here's my sewn border um, and I've decided to put my paper bag here as well because I just think these two you know they're just a perfect match aren't they so it just made sense for me to move it and I just love the way that these three um, look together as well the colours are just absolutely perfect I just love it I still need to find some kind of quote or something to go along the bottom here but I just love that and then of course there's the first um, spread that um, I did in the first week so three weeks along and already um, my journal is really coming along nicely well, well at least I think it is anyway so I look forward to seeing what everybody else decides to do with, with their um, journals this week or you know for your use your scraps um, and if you enjoyed this week's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up um, and let me know what you think in the comments below as well so I hope you enjoyed the longer video I know that some of you have commented that you enjoy hearing my thought process in the longer videos but you know I hope it didn't bore some of you as well um, but take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now mm -hmm.